comes the time to retire old hard hats. This particular one is about 12 years old. You can see it's got some battle scars where I've walked into scaffold frames a few times. Every time I vote, I put a new sticker on. The latest focus on fall prevention. This Manitowoc sticker is from when Manitowoc first came out with the triple nine. I remember working with Chip Pocock at Buckner Steel on developing steel erection training and Metro North training, my goodness, from 2005. This is old. Working with Doug Watson down at the AGC of Houston, no longer there anymore, but still in the business. Thanks, Doug. Many of you will remember this oldie but goodie, tire die from the St. Paul, now owned by Travelers. Still a big focus. I think this sticker goes back to around 96, 98. Um, this hard hat isn't that old, but the sticker is. Dale Dahl gave this to me all those years ago. Almost call this my backup alarm for the hard hat. Bob Conkey out in Boise, Idaho, slammed the door on the Killer Four. My man, Supreme Trainer. Attila the Hun. Of safety training. Working with the Steel Erectors Association of America to develop the uh, steel erection training programs and videos. And then I think this is a good message, work to live, die hard. So let's talk a little bit about hard hats. Hard hats have what you might call born on dating. They've got this little stamp on them that this one's illegible at this point, but goes back to about 2005. You can see that the suspension is a little ripped on the inside. It needs to be replaced. So the real focus, the real reason for replacing this is we've got brand new company hard hats that we'll talk about in just a second uh, that are pretty cool. But this is an oldie but goodie, been around a long time. Uh, wish I could keep it, but I will keep it uh, in, my, in my pile at home. Um, gift to my grandchildren, I guess, at some point in time. Common question that comes up is, can I put stickers on my hard hat? Well, we'll show you the document that goes with this, but bottom line is, yes, you can, as long as they're not metallic stickers, and as long as they, uh, the solvent in the adhesive does not uh, degrade the quality of the hard hat. You shouldn't cover the hard hat to the point that you can't inspect it for cracks. So you see there's some space between the stickers. Um, obviously, there are guys out there that are wearing hard hats that are almost completely made of stickers at this point. That would not be appropriate, but at this point, based on what I can see, although there's a clarification, manufacturer, in this case MSA, does say don't put stickers within a half an inch of the brim. So my new hard hat won't have stickers within a half an inch of the brim. Learn something new every day. Just like anything else you buy, new hard hats come with packaging. They've actually got instructions on them how to adjust them, how to maintain them, Spanish, English, French. Good idea when you give a guy a new hard hat, make sure that he gets the instructions that go with it. So again, speaking of stickers, there are many uh, owners and contractors that don't allow stickers on hard hats. Um, you know, the question is, can I do it? And the manufacturers will tell you, yes, you can with certain restrictions. In this case, we've got pre-printed, customized hard hats from MSA. This will be my new one. I'll have to gussy it up a little bit. Um, but, you know, the point is, is that we're not changing the nature of the hard hat, uh, doing anything to it that changes the structure or the function uh, or that precludes proper inspection. So everything in moderation, I guess. So we've got these brand new MSA V-Guard helmets, full brim and regular brim. If you look carefully, you can see the born on date, December of 2016. So in theory, this is good for another five years, according to the manufacturer. Again, they recommend replacement every five years, but it's not mandatory. It all depends on the condition of the hard hat. Guys that work out in the field every day, obviously their hat's not gonna, la it's not gonna last nearly as long as mine as a safety geek. Make sure that when you hand out the hard hats, it's got all the nomenclature inside as it was provided with the manufacturer. It gives you the care instructions and uh, warnings and proper usage and designations. In this case, again, it's a class E as long as it's worn with the proper suspension. Remember that you can only reverse your hard hat if the manufacturer allows it and it's got this reverse donning emblem. What'd you do Friday afternoon? I decorated hard hats. Our carpenters get green stripes, our laborers get yellow stripes, everybody's got their name, brim forward, 
Way to go. So we move from old to new. In the words of Jim Andrews, see and be seen. A little extra reflective striping. Always like to know that I can be seen from a distance, especially when I'm trying to sneak up on someone. Another option we're offering is this medical information carrier label that goes on the outside of the hard hat. There's an information holder that goes on the inside of the hard hat and a form that employees can fill out uh, with their medical information and closest kin, etc. cetera. Uh, the sticker goes on the outside of the hard hat and it provides a great opportunity to identify medical conditions, medications, etc. cetera, uh, that might be necessary to communicate in the event of an emergency. Looking forward to the future when we move to the next generation of hard hats.